Jin. Skin. Sin. Fun. How's about a wild party? I'm the director and choreographer of The Wild Party. It's a very challenging piece with the issues that it deals with, uh, but it's been even more challenging and I've, myself and the cast and the, the creative team have really had to think outside of the box and um, do it in these present times. Working as an actor during Covid has obviously been a huge obstacle, but luckily Wild Party has been our second season. So all the elements of social distancing, wearing masks unless you're performing, getting tested weekly, sanitizing all the time. It was all muscle memory, so we were able to focus on the art and the message and the acting of the piece whilst still being in a safe environment. Hi, my name is Lizzie Rose Essen Kelly and I play Phil Darmano. And I'm Elise Zavu and I play Oscar Darmano, who completes the Brothers Double. <laughs> The roles we play were originally played by men, but as we're women we got to discover more different ways to put our femininity through as drag kings instead, which was a really fun process to do because we got to, you know, get a physicality in that we've never been able to do before. The fact that we're drag kings coincides a lot with the relationships with the LGBTQ plus community that feature quite heavily throughout the show. Another difficult topic our show covers is the theme of sexual assault and rape. Led by Cressida, our cast has had a lot of discussions about how these topics may impact our audience members, especially given the current social climate with the Me Too movement and more survivors coming forward with their stories. As well as having some more intimate scenes in the show, we've had to take a more stylistic approach to remain socially distanced, which has been really interesting because it's had a heightened sense of chemistry for all the actors on stage to be able to tell the story truthfully. So the language is very symbolic and abstract, which I think physically is as powerful as people being able to physically touch each other. It's very powerful and it, it, it lifts the piece off the page, which is what we're here to do and still tells the story. Hello, my name is Tyler Orfe Baker and I'm playing Eddie Mackerel. It's been incredible working on a piece that centres the Harlem Renaissance of the 20s, particularly in our post-Black Lives Matter era. Uh, this pivotal rush for black progression uh, is what fueled later the civil rights movement of the 60s and uh, you know that mentality, that uh, free, new, black state of mind is something that I live with today so it's incredible to be able to put that into a piece. It's been a great honour working with the creative team that we've had. Having Cressida as our choreographer and director has just been a joy in the room with her incredible energy and just her passion for the work and the message of this piece. It's been amazing to work with Matt because of his extensive knowledge of the jazz genre and blues as well. That's been an amazing experience. It's great to work with a score that's so authentic in its writing, feels so much of the period, and it's very intricate, and this cast has been doing a great job working around the intricacies of, of such a well-written score. Hello, my name is Luca Chadwick Patel, and I'm playing the character of Bert. The Wild Party touches on a plethora of different difficult topics, but for Burns especially, his minstrel act in which he specifically does an interpretation of blackface, it's a very important theme in the story. Our approach has been quite complex and we've decided to go down a more abstract route. And I think we've tried different things, we've spoken to the members of the cast, we've spoken to our diversity and equality rep, Andy Domingo, it's what the community went through at the time and it's something that shouldn't be forgotten. Especially. My name is Lily and I am playing the role of Queenie. Upon my initial research of this show, I discovered that Vanessa Williams was cast in the role of Queenie. And when we spoke to Michael John Lachusa, he thought that that was integral to the role. It is sometimes our responsibility as artists and performers and composers to deal with wounds. And uh, to expose wounds and to acknowledge the wounds. He also discussed that the idea of self-hatred was central in the show and myself being a black actress in the role of Queenie feels 
very natural and the fact that Burge starts to lose his mind and becomes more of his minstrel act as the show goes on is very powerful for me as an actress to have to deal with. We tell the truth and we have to live in those truths in order for our work to have any merit or any uh, uh, value. It's been great working at GSA uh, and with such a talented cast who have just been a joy to work with and again with, with a very difficult piece. We're dealing with uh, a fantastic piece but a very difficult piece and this cast have been absolutely fabulous uh, in only not only their approach uh, but the delivery of the show. Thank you.